Hey, how's it going everyone? Today we're going to talk about 10 glitches you could do after patch in the latest update for Power World. We are also going to talk about some newer glitches and some that have actually been patched in the latest update. So there is a lot that we will be talking about in today's video. Timestamps are down below for your convenience. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive right into this. Let's begin by talking about some of the glitches that have been patched in the latest update. For example, this one right here, the egg duplication glitch, no longer works. What we could do previously is place down an egg inside the egg incubator, wait for at least 5 seconds, then we would click and hold down the left mouse button, then click the tab key. At this point, you should be holding the egg icon, and then once the egg incubator goes down to zero, you could place that item inside of your backpack and also duplicate the egg. This of course no longer works as you can tell right here. What's going to happen is that the egg is going to be removed and it's going to be placed inside of your bag. Next what we have here is the butcher glitch. This no longer works if you try to butcher your pal. What you will notice is that the pal is going to be completely butchered. You are going to receive your material, but you're not going to be able to keep your pal. I'm sure some of you are already aware of this, but the only reason why I'm bringing it up is because I have received quite a few questions about it. Not only were those glitches patched, as well as the duplication glitch and the pal box revival glitch, that no longer works. Alright, let's begin by talking about some of the new glitches. This first one is going to allow you to pop out some random wood out of nowhere by throwing on the Ring of Mercy and attacking some random pals. What you will notice here on the right side is that the wood is just randomly popping up out of nowhere. There's really no reason for this to happen, but uh, I guess when you throw on the Ring of Mercy, this is what happens. Also, not to mention, you will need this pal right here, Jetragon. And by the way, if you need to reset your skills, drop your pal and pick it back up. This will reset both the skills and the partner skills. Anyways, as you can tell right here, on the right side, the wood is popping up once more. If you need to, you can hop off of your mount and take out the rest of the pals, but make sure that you do unequip the Ring of Mercy. If you do not do that, it's not going to be a fun time because you're just going to pretty much be shooting at them forever until you do unequip it. So there we go. We can now finish them off and go over there and collect the rest of the wood. This might not be as useful for you guys, but I thought I would share it because it was quite interesting. With that being said, let me know what you think about this glitch down below in the comments. We are now going to move on and talk about the second glitch. In this clip right here, we are going to freeze this boss right here or pretty much any boss essentially. What we need to do is locate a cave or a dungeon like so. Enter inside. You will also need a flying type pal. We are going to locate the left or right side of the dungeon, it does not matter. We need to open up the wheel menu here and pet the pal. This is going to allow us to break through the barriers. I'm sure a lot of you are already aware of this, right? I have shown this quite a lot in the past. But what we're going to do this time is we are going to travel over to the boss. The boss can be found over here in this large open area, which you can see right here. And you will also notice that there's this... Uh, sort of this castle structure there on the left side we are going to remain right here on the wall and we are going to trigger the boss the boss is going to come over to us and all we need to do is use our spear or a weapon of our choice to take out this boss you of course have the other option which is to capture this boss with a spear that is completely optional but do what you want to do Number three, what we have here is going to be a way to freeze any boss in any free pal alliance tower. Locate a tower like so, enter inside. You will not be able to do the butcher glitch like previously, so we will need to do something completely different here. The only requirement here is that you will need a jet dragon, and when you do have one, go ahead and go towards the left. You can also use any flying type pal of your choice, but I prefer this pal because it's just, it's easy to get the glitch done. We are now going to merge through the barrier by using the pet option. You will face the barrier and then pet. Your pal will go through the barrier and then you can mount. Once you are mounted, fly over here, go all the way up to the top. At this point, what's going to happen is that the boss on the ground is going to be completely frozen. We now want to go all the way to the top until we hit the barrier. Once we have, go ahead and use up all of your stamina and fly all the way back down to where you once were. What should happen at this point is that the boss will be frozen. 
you can go back inside of the boss room by using the pet option. You do not have to worry about the boss attacking you because remember, once you have hit the ceiling, this is going to freeze the boss instantly. And you will notice right here that the boss is no longer moving. We can merge back inside using the previous method and you can attack this boss. You cannot capture the boss, unfortunately, because they have yet to make that possible again. Speaking of capturing tower bosses again, I think that right there would be a cool feature if they could bring that back. I know previously we did use a glitch to capture these bosses, but come on, some sort of cool way to capture these bosses again, I guess the legitimate way would be pretty awesome. Anyways, as you can tell right here, I am able to merge back inside the boss room and I'm also able to take him out without him attacking us back. Number four, I'm going to show you the boss duplication glitch. This one is the same exact method as before, except instead of going up, we are going to go down below. Merge through the wall by petting the pal, go towards the left or the right, and just let your pal fall. With this right here, you do have two options. You can either drop below the map by using up all of your stamina, or you can exit the mount and fall that way. It's up to you. What you will notice here is that once you do reach the bottom, it's going to teleport you back to your base. You will also notice at the top, the timer is still going. This is perfectly fine. You're doing everything correctly. If your base is not located next to the tower, then what you can do, of course, is open up the PAL box fast travel option and fast travel over to the tower. Once you're inside, rinse and repeat the same exact glitch as before. When you have done it a certain amount of times, the bosses underneath the map should be frozen and they should not be able to move anymore. Typically what will happen is that when you do this the second time, you're going to notice that the boss is going to fall below the map. So if you do this enough times, the boss will remain in one place or multiple uh, bosses will remain in one place. Number five, we are now going to talk about an alternate version of doing the Bella Noir glitch. If you guys do not know what I'm talking about, I'll explain it right here. We are going to place down a base like this somewhere on the map. Next, we want to locate a wooden stool. You no longer need to use two wooden stools. What I would recommend is using one, one large wooden stool. This is great. Then place that sucker down and place a summoning altar on top of the large wooden stool. What we have done previously is use two wooden stools and then we would place the summoning altar on top of those two stools. We would also remove the two stools, but this time we are not going to do that. Instead, we are going to build the summoning altar, we are going to leave the wooden stool, and we are going to place the campfire pit underneath that summoning altar. So again, previously we would use two wooden stools, delete the wooden stool, and then place the fire pit underneath. This way you do not have to do that. Instead, we are going to leave the fire pit as it is. We are now going to summon the raid boss, but before we do that, we need to hop on top of our mount. This can either be a ground type or a flying type. It's up to you. The two pals I have here are perfect for this. The first pal does have ability called Cloud Tempest and that will pretty much turn you into Sonic and you will be out of here in a jiffy. It will be quick. It really will be. The other option here is Jet Tragon. You can then hop on one of the two, summon the altar, and then fly out of the way. That's pretty much all you need to do. What you will see is that in the distance, the boss is going to receive some damage. It's going to take a lot of damage. You can just sit here, wait it out till at least 835. If you do not attack this boss from the distance, this boss will also transform and yeah, it's gonna suck because it does have technically a second phase. So really all you need to do is attack the boss as its health reaches the last bit and you will receive a bunch of items. We are now going to continue on and talk about this glitch right here. Next up at number 6 right here we have Lily's Spear Glitch. This works after patch and all you need to do is crouch and use the spear. This is going to inflict extra damage and you're going to be able to take down these ore rocks pretty easily. Number 7, I'm going to show you how to summon down all of your pals from your party. We need to head over here towards a fast traveling point. We also want to make sure that we do have a party of flying type pals. For example, right here, you can tell that I do have a flying type pal. This is okay. I can change this much later on. What we need to do next is open up the map here and locate pristine snowfields. This can be found at the top left here in the snow biome. 
Once you have located it, go ahead and fast travel to that location. The second requirement, you will need a second base or a third base. If you do not have one available, you will need to make sure that it is available in order to do this glitch. Okay, so now that we have that, we can place that sucker down and we also need to make sure, again, that we have a full party of pals. Once you do have that available, hop off the cliff with your pal and we are going to go towards the side here, grab onto the wall, use the pet option. When you do use the pet option, you are going to merge through the wall and at this point, head towards the grass texture there. It's going to teleport you back to the base. We are going to hop off of our mount, summon down the second mount, which is to the right side here on the bottom left. We are going to summon down a second pal, hop on top of that pal, rinse and repeat this as many times as you would like. You can tell right away that this glitch is super easy to do. I mean, literally, you just merge through the wall, find the grass texture, go into the grass texture, teleport back to your base, throw down the second or third mount, whichever one you're on, mount and just rinse and repeat it. It's that easy. Number eight, we are going to head towards the chest, hold down the left mouse button and tap the tab key. Doing so, you will see that you have the rock icon or whichever item of your choice. This is going to allow you to transfer items from one chest to the other without becoming overweight. We are now going to move on and talk about number nine. This one is going to be an XP glitch and you can do this after patch. We will first want to make sure that the XP is actually boosted up quite high in the settings. Then head into the game here and place down two foundations. Place down two walls like so. Then place a roof at the very top. Do not place it at the bottom. We are going to place down some stairs. Make sure that you do use the new building option there on the bottom right. For me, it's Alt. For you, it might be a different button or key. At this point, we are pretty much done. We want to open up the build option here and place down a wall dead center in the middle right here. You should be able to place it exactly like this. It can either be placed vertically or horizontally. At this point, just spam it and you will receive XP. Rinse and repeat this as much as you will like. And last but not least, we have the viewing cage glitch. You will need to make sure that you do have a base available and you do have the viewing cage as well. We are now going to head directly down below and place down the viewing cage. We also want to make sure that we do have enough material to place down some foundations and a wall. That will come in handy here soon. Now that you do have the viewing cage placed down, we can now place down the foundation. The foundation is going to play a big key here because this is going to allow us to enter and exit the viewing cage. Place it down right here at an angle and place down the wall as well. If you grab onto the wall and then move to the left, you will clip inside. We now want to grab onto the wall and then go up. This way we can exit. We are going to call over the PAL. The PAL is going to come over to us. We are going to merge into the viewing cage. And at this point, the PAL will not be able to attack us. And that's all that you need to do. Just finish up the boss and some of the PALs that are surrounding you. But that's really it. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, comment down below. Join the Discord. Follow me over on the Twitter. With all that being said, thank you guys so much for the support. And I will see you all in the next video.